Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the topic of being an empath. Now this topic's been around the internet for a little bit, but what you don't know is how your brand new light body can really help you with this. So a lot of people go around like being an empath is a superpower and yeah, you can sense things. That's the natural effect of ascension is your senses start to dial up a little bit. You should be more sensitive, but the problem comes in where you're overly sensitive. So we're going to talk about what's old and what's new by using your new light body. That is my specialty activating you so that you can use your new light body. This is especially important for the divine feminine. So because you have female areas, You've had past lives, you have childbirth, you might have children, you have a job, you are woman, here you roar. So let's get into it here. So on the old side, you have pain, which does translate as emotional pain and physical pain. And a lot of times, that's not even your pain. That's someone else's pain. But you can pick up on it, or they say something to you and it feels like they've dumped everything on you, right? Right? Now, this is important in relationships, in marital relationships, in parent-child relationships, especially grown children, where those grown children think you're toxic or you think your kids are toxic or something else. We can't go around like that anymore because that's old. That is old paradigm ways of relating. There is a new way in making a new relationship using your new light body. That is the whole point of Ascension is getting everyone up leveled so that they feel the new stuff and they feel how it's working for them. A lot of people go around with a hardness or a shell or they're tough. I get this. You know, a lot of people get teased about their sign. Like if they're a cancer, all crusty, hard on the outside and all mushy, soft on the inside. Yeah, but there has to be a balance to this. The new way is caring okay now not overly caring overextending caring does not mean overextend yourself to the point of pain or drainage of yourself your resources your sweetness your kindness because other people think you're weak being an empath doesn't mean you get taken advantage of again and again and again and again okay especially if you're in a breakup especially if you have responsibilities. You don't quit your job just yet. Take my class and find out really how to do this so that you can shift it around. Because you might think other people are blinded by your light, but sometimes they don't even know your light is on. You're just in their way. We want to shift that into caring for yourself and caring for others. Compassion but not feeling their pain. You don't need to feel any more of their pain. Why would you? Why would you need more eons of karmic pain? You don't, because that's karma. Karma will keep repeating in people until people get themselves out of it. You can feel your own softness and others can feel your softness because we all have it, but it's not a weakness. That's a key difference. Feeling the strength of yourself, feeling your divinity, feeling your divine feminine or your divine masculine, feeling protected by that part of you, but not feeling weak as a result because you don't need to be hard anymore. We don't need the hammer. We are seeing a lot of this where people are coming down with the hammer because they've got a point to make and they will be heard. It's not that necessary anymore because there is a new way. We have to get into the new paradigm. Acting like you don't care. And this takes a lot of forms. This is the poker face where you're just going to be like, don't show any expression. Don't show any expression. Don't show any expression. You'll get out alive that way. Yeah. Where did we learn that learned behavior? This has been life after life after life. And usually... There is some abuse tied to it too. So when I activate you, we release these abuses as well. Acting like you don't care. Posing. Posing like something that you're not. Like you're a super paragon of something and 
you feel like you're trembling inside because you can feel all the pain and uncertainty of something. You don't need to take that on. There is a new way and it is caring and safe. A lot of people don't know what it's like to be vulnerable or even to say something honestly and have other people be honest with you at the same level. I did it all last week. I said to them, um, you know what? You said that kind of sarcastically, it hurt my feelings. And this was two times and each separate time, the one person said to me, oh, yeah, I've been feeling kind of tired lately. I'm sorry if that came out sarcastic. It was just, I don't know, I guess just a reaction. Okay. And we were forgiven in the moment and it was gone. Soft, but not weak. I spoke up. It wasn't a huge drag out argument. We didn't end the friendship. I didn't call my friend toxic. My friend was able to explain and just, we understood each other. And yeah, those moments happen. But if someone makes it a habit, guess what? You're right here. You're feeling all their pain because they're dumping it out with things like sarcasm and toxic behaviors and expectations. We don't need that. You're stuck on everyone else's crazy ride. Woohoo! Who wants to get off the carnival ride, right? A lot of people want to get off this ride because karma just keeps spinning and spinning and they never feel like they heal from it. They never feel like they're safe. Uh, they will feel continually victimized and there is another way. It's not being stuck and it's without people being clingy or clinging on you or always going to you with their problems. Now, let's give an example of someone who's been in a marriage and they get divorced, but somehow enough time passes and yet one of the spouses keeps calling and kind of dumps their stuff and is like, you know, telling all the uncertainties with that new marriage or with the children. And somehow that ex-spouse has turned into a psychologist for that person. Guess what happens? Empathic pain acting like they don't care, stuck with their crazy right on a new flipping marriage. I mean, nobody needs that. We need to cut here. We need to cut our ties with the past. And it goes beyond cord cutting. It goes beyond smudging and some other things. We have to do it with your new light body. There are parts of you that get activated to connect you to the new levels that support your life. And I'm going to do another video about the new levels. So not clinging, not having people cling on to you. This is a very familiar one to all of us. We react, we retaliate, or we plan or plot some petty revenge. Ooh, they just wait. When blah, 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 I'm going to get back at them, right? Now, that doesn't always seem like an empath behavior because a lot of empaths are sort of in victim mode. You know, they're not always like, I'm going to get back at you right away. But I mean, you beat a dog long enough, it will try to bite you. It should. It has to get its spirit back. This is one of the things that first happens, and this is a telltale sign of someone who is trying to regain their spirit. It's not really appropriate. It is not the new light body way. And yet it happens. People have reactions. Now, what do you suppose happens to someone's personality when they're always plotting and, you know, having to live like they're walking on eggshells and feeling pain and feeling emotional and feeling like they have to be tough and don't care or like while it's piling on them, right? They can sense the things. They can sense it in three moves. And they're going to plan that little petty retaliation to get back. Well, their hormones go wonky. The hormones are usually a hot mess, especially for women, especially if you're in perimenopause, menopause. You're going to be up, down, up, down. We know all about it. We know what herbs to recommend you so that that is, you get the law of diminishing effect where it ceases to have a great effect on you and it diminishes, diminishes, diminishes until we've gotten you to a new level. 
We talk a lot about female support in my webinars because there is a lot of overlap, okay? Metaphysical reasons why you're thyroid, metaphysical reasons why you're depressed, metaphysical reasons why you feel overly sensitive, metaphysical reasons why your dream time, etc. So this all accumulates, but we are getting you to the point where you can be responsive and not reactive, where it slides right off of you. And that was like a running joke with me and my guides early on years ago. Oh, I'd like to be a Teflon coated pipeline. And believe it or not, that started happening. Someone would talk and it'd feel like, whoosh. and you want this stuff to transmute because you don't want it between you and people you genuinely care about. People you genuinely care about. Now, let's bring in the twin flame aspect of this. There's you and there's your other half somewhere, someplace. It doesn't matter if they live in the next house. It doesn't matter if they live in another geographical area from you. You're going to feel each other's shit, period. How are they coping with it? Are they doing drugs? Are they indulging? Are they addicted to something? Are they a rageaholic now as a result? Like you're taking it, taking it, taking it, and they're like dishing it out. That happens. Are they an adrenaline junkie? Do they have things, ways to get their brand new light body activated? If not, if you're the one who is here to respond, therefore you are responsible and you can do this on behalf of both of you because that's how it works. Your new light body protects and deflects for you. We want the metaphysical good stuff and we want you with 5D love and protection. It forms a structure around you that you can sense. You can't see it. You can see it in your third eye. But other people, unless someone has their gift open, that's what they're gifted in, such as myself. Only a few people are going to sense that. But we want you to sense it and feel it working for you. Okay, we want you to feel it's a natural, integral part of you. We want you to feel the way you should feel, which is loved. Loved and supported by your soul, your twin. Okay, your twin in separation, your twin's etheric side or the angel part of your twin, however it is most acceptable to you, okay? I'm not going to get all wishy-washy here and say like, well, if this resonates with you, there's a lot that's not going to resonate from the fourth dimension like this stuff. Does this resonate with you? Do you want to be stuck? No, let's get you moving because... When you have an activation, these things do get moving. We are there to guide you through it, how to purge, how to smooth it out. And we meet three times. So we are meeting Sunday, Sunday, Sunday in beautiful Chicago online on Zoom for three times so that you can gain the tools the activations, the awareness, and the meditations to connect you to reconnect. Get reconnected now. Join Twin Flame Reconnection to really learn because this goes beyond empowerment. This goes to get it to slide right off you without interfering with who you truly are. Who you truly are is very important. And your awakening happened for a reason. Let's take it further and help you to balance living in two worlds. Living in the physical, where you do have to go to work and you do have to drive a car. And people will hurt your feelings. And people will be oblivious to your feelings. And people will want to dump on you because that is the old pattern. But you also live on a new level and you can do this. You can do it. It's what you were born for and you're important. Thanks so much for watching. Join us. Bye.